Hello everyone, John S. Kruger here and today is Video Tutorial Tuesday. Today's tutorial will be a Roblox tutorial on how to use Cutscene Editor Plugin by Clone Trooper 1019. This is a great tool that Clone Trooper has created that I can't imagine making a Roblox machinima without it. When this tool came out, it changed the way people filmed their scenes in Roblox and it also has been used to create some depth in Roblox games. A lot of old users have experience with this as they think it came out around the end of 2012 or the beginning of 2013. It was pretty buggy in the beginning, but in version 2.0, a lot of the issues have been fixed. First thing you want to do is download the Cutscene Editor plugin. You need to open Roblox Studios, go to Catalog section, scroll down where it says Plugins, and then click it. It should be on the first page in a plugin section if you scroll down, and if not, just search it in the search bar. After you find it, click on it and install it. Now go open up any place you have, and this icon should appear in the toolbar. I have two of those because one is the old version that I still haven't installed and one is the, well, the one that we just installed right now, which is the 2.01 version. Once you click on it, there will be six options that will be open to you. But the only one you are able to select at the moment is capture camera position. Once that is selected, three sliders will appear. NFOB allows you to change the field of view from zooming in and zooming out. Add more points or start a new cutscene afterwards. One thing I do is preview the cutscene and then record it with Fraps or any other screen catcher software I have at the moment. This saves a lot of time whenever you want to record something. If you scroll down, you can see the option Reposition or Reconfigure selected. Reposition allows me to move a camera point that is already created to another point. This can be used whenever you want to fix the camera point that has been misplaced. Or if you want to move it somewhere else. Reconfigure allows you to change the setting of the selected point. Basically, it allows you to change the FOV, the end transition, and the rotation like before. Just in case you might have had that wrong. Or want to change it to the way you like. The last option I haven't talked about is the Save Cutscene option, which allows you to save the cutscenes in three different ways. As an executable local script was basically a local script of the cutscene that I only recommend you use if you know what you're doing. As a part touch script, which creates a button that you can step on in-game when you're playing solo or online that activates a save cutscene. I'd recommend to change the color of the buttons if you're saving different cutscenes, so you know the difference. Then finally as a player to enter script, which activates the save cutscene for any player that joins the place. That is pretty much all. I recommend you try it along because you can get a lot of experience if you try using it from different ways. That's how I learned how to use it. And hey, you never know if you'll make something creative with this. Well that's it, thank you for watching, and if you liked this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, and stay tuned for more tutorials every Tuesday. Take care and see you all later!